Well, how do you there, chums? Says I, Captain of the Steves, and I've got my cup of tea to hand. I guess I do. So today, people, today we're hoping that we're going to be seeing a No Man's Sky update. At some point today, or at the very least a trailer. Anyway, I'm just going to have a little sip of this. Now, as you know, the PlayStation VR 2 update is supposed to be dropping today. So there's a few things that I'm watching over on side of Tinterwebs at the moment. So let me show you the sorts of things that I'm watching right now, people. So let's uh, jump on over. I'm going to stick on a bit of music in the background. Lovely jubbly. I'm going to get my reaction cam up. So here I am on Tinterwebs. You can see here, I'm on the Hello Games Tube. And it's on YouTube, at Hello Games Tube. And hopefully we're going to be seeing a trailer drop at some stage. Now in the past, they've accidentally put it inside the playlist. So if I see that turn to 30, I know that it's there. And you can even watch it if it's unlisted. And that's how it's leaked out early in the past. But I think they've learned from that, not to put it inside of a playlist or else it can be seen. So yeah, there is that, people in the view of us. So yeah, I'm, I'm checking out there, so I'm hitting up videos and I'm hitting up playlist. If that turns to 30, I'm going to be jumping in there and taking a quick look at that. But yeah, just refreshing this page every now and again, just to see if the actual trailer drops. And I'm also on Sean Murray Watch, so I'm over on the old Twitter sphere. And again, I'm just looking to see if he puts out any sorts of new tweets. I'm hoping whatever update we get becomes his new pinned comment. Every time Sean Murray puts a new pinned comment, that means it's probably the biggest update of that year. So last Last year, 2022, was the Endurance update, and that one's been pinned. So I'm hoping that whatever update we get is bigger enough to knock Endurance off of that pinned comment. That's what I'm hoping, people, in the view of us. So yeah, so Coolio, so I'm, I'm doing a refresh over there. So let's give that a refresh and see what we've got. Is uh, Mr. Murray put out anything new this morning? Past his pinned comment? No. It's this snowflake emoji, and that's what we've all been speculating on and driving the hype up on. What does the snowflake mean? to you people sound off in the comments let us know heck yes i mean it could mean pretty much anything couldn't it at this point right okay steam depots so steam depot watch i'm also doing this too and again it's just hitting the refresh every now and again but this automatically refreshes anyway so you don't really have to keep hitting refresh but i am <laughs> just because i'm going through the drill i'm doing this about five minutes past the hour every hour just going through these tabs and giving them a quick refresh now i I have got something I need to do today, people. I've got a very special day today, and uh, I can't really get out of it, even if there is a trailer drop or anything like that. So I I'll get into that in a moment. I'll let you know what's going on inside of my world. And another thing I'm doing is I've also searched for No Man's Sky PSVR 2, and I've got the filter on, and I just hit it to today. And uh, yeah, just seeing what comes back with today's filters. I think I just took that off. I just need to hit refresh, basically. But I'm waiting to see somebody picking up and playing No Man's Sky guy in playstation vr2 i want to know what the haptic feedback feels like what the actual um, sharpness is and how it feels to play no man's sky in playstation vr2 i've seen a lot of videos now on gran turismo 7 and how you can walk around the car and the cars feel like the real models and that sounds freaking awesome i really want to try gran turismo 7 i've already got gran turismo 7 so heck yes if i get my vr i will try that one out too Right, that's what I'm doing today. That's what my today consists of. What else have I done in preparation for the update? Well, as you know, with No Man's Sky updates, we tend to get a fair few bugs with each update. I mean, some people would rather call them features. But yes, they, they're bugs at the end of the day. And I, I, I've backed up my save. I've already saved my actual save up onto the cloud just in case something goes super wrong. Also, before I actually logged out of the game, I've saved my game inside of a space station inside of a system that has no bases and no issues with loading i haven't saved my game inside of the nexus just in case i boot in and because there's a massive influx of players there maybe it crashes the game before i can start playing or something we have had that happen in the past and i haven't saved it at a very complex base or a planet with a lot of bases on for the same reason just in case there's some rendering issues or something there or some sort of memory leak that causes my game to crash and i can't get in so my advice to you guys in the view of us is save your game 
game somewhere where there isn't any traffic. And I've saved in a station as well because I want to try the station override as soon as there's an update, just to see if that's actually doing anything. So there's a dual reason why I've saved inside of a space station and I've chose a space station in an unpopulated area of space. <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's my advice for you guys because sadly, with No Man's Sky being such a large procedural game and Hello Games being such a small team, it does seem that a lot of the bug fixing and early patches are mainly down to the community to find. And if you do find those bugs, it's a case of reporting to Zendesk. And, um, but a lot of it is auto-reported anyway through your actual consoles or through um, PC, through some sort of error reporting system anyhow. So they do get quite a lot of that stuff coming into them. And, well, for the major issues anyway. So there is that, which is all cool. So anything else to be aware of? Not really. Over, uh, Other than there's a lot of speculation out there. Now, I speculated that it might be the Realm of Glass or it might be generation of landscapes based on snowflakes being fractals and fractals being a form of math that's almost the equivalent of the super formula so i thought maybe it's going to be an upgrade to the algorithms behind the automatic generation proc gen and i figured that they might apply it to all the undiscovered planets so all the planets that are discovered they leave them alone all the planets that are undiscovered they get this new algorithm applied or at least that's one way that i can see them doing it or they can up open up another dimension to the realm of glass they can do whatever the fudge they like in the realm of glass and Hello Games have got their own little mini universe to play in. I mean, you know, Sean Murray did say that they've got a nice problem during the Origins interview with IGN. And if you didn't see that video, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner up here where I talk about the nice problem that Sean Murray describes and maybe a few workarounds. So hit that one up, it's well worth a watch. But yeah, if you're like me and you just uh, sit in each hour and you're clicking on different tabs and hoping they refresh, I'm, I'll let you know if I see anything. The only thing is, I'm going to be out of my home for about two hours today around midday <laughs> around the time that the update may happen basically my stepson he's um from the philippines and he's got residency here in the uk but he's just gone through his citizenship he's going to become a uk citizen officially and uh, it's a very special day for him he's super super stoked i'm super super proud and so is his mother so we're hopefully going to go meet him. well i'm going to be driving him over there but we're going to be going to the actual um you know the town hall and he gets given a presentation and all this sort of stuff it's it's freaking awesome so today is a great day for two reasons <laughs> i'm really worried about missing the update but at the same time i can't miss this you got to understand i can't miss this so yeah if you do see something um please hit me up on the twitter verse because i could be out of the freaking room like i could be inside us yeah i'm gonna have my phone on silent if i just get it out when i come out and there's just a freaking swave of messages i'm gonna oh i've missed something but yeah i'll get straight back on it as soon as i'm back home though i mean i have got my working day too so you know work comes first play comes second i'm hoping i can cover as much as i can today but it's it might if you don't see content from me that's why no other reason it's because i've got something very special on today and i can't get out of it all right people in the viewer verse and i wouldn't really want to anyway because it's freaking awesome news anyway take care people goodbye goodbye and goodbye again